Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video, I'm going to sh quickly show you some of the new features found on the new Android version, Android N, known as Android Nougat, or Android version 7. I have, this is the Nexus 6P and as you can see, I just got a notification and uh, I've just downloaded that. Let me actually show you as of now, if you go to about, it's running on the Android version 6.0.1 and just recently I got this OD update. And as you can see, this is regarding the Android 7. And it was a 1.2 uh, gigabyte uh, update. Let's install this one. I'll just, uh, and it'll just restart the device. And I'll just quickly just forward all this stuff because it can take a couple of minutes for this uh, stuff to be done. And by the way, if your Nexus device didn't get this update, don't fret, uh, it should come uh, in the next couple of days. It's being uh, rolled out in stages for Nexus 6B, Nexus 5X, also the nexus uh, tablet sadly the nexus uh, uh, 5 is not going to get this android n update and this update procedure took about nine minutes so you have to be patient and now i'm logged in back and as you can see the uh, data is intact and uh, again we can customize uh, these notifications and the icons let's see if why it's not connecting to my wi-fi like some issue with the uh, Wi-Fi. Yeah, it's connected. And uh, let's just go to all the other settings. Let me actually show you the Android version. And again, as you can see, the notifications have changed now. And we can actually uh, reply from here. We can remove individual notifications. And in fact, we can uh, interact with a lot of uh, notifications from the pane itself. For example, for messaging apps, we can reply directly from here. But let's look at the Android version. As you can see, the menu layout has changed a little bit. It's almost the same, but the uh, typography has changed. It's a smaller font now compared to the earlier one. And if you go to about the phone, it's running on the Android version 7.0. So as you can see, uh, this is the new Android version and that is an Android Nougat that we are getting. So this is what we get. So let's just go back and if we just go over here, as you can see, uh, the layout of the notifications have changed. Uh, uh, this doesn't do anything, but as I've told you, if it was a messaging app or something, I could have replied directly from yours. It depends from app to app, I would say. And again, um, let me actually show one of the biggest things uh, that uh, Google was touting is let me just open some of the apps or whatever. Let's just open a multiple apps. So uh, the overview view has changed. As you can see, this is the normal view that you get. Uh, but uh, we can, let's say we have been using this app and let's say we are in uh, another app that's called this pictures. You can just double tap this and quickly move to the earlier app. Just double tap the overview and as you can see quickly. So this is a very quick way to switch between one app to the other app. So that you can do just double tap the overview button. So you can do that. And this is a uh, regular uh, multitasking tray. And you also see this option of clear all apps. Uh, this was not there in earlier versions of Android, but now it's there. So if you can just tap this, it will clear the entire list. And the biggest uh, new change is if you hold this for a, a second, for example, let's run, uh, keep running this camera app. Let's say if you just hold this for a second, you get to this view. And this is the new multitasking uh, view that we get. So you can resize it. And again, it gave a warning that not all apps might work, but again, this is native functionality. So this is the new split screen multi windows uh, sort of functionality that you get. And uh, this, this works really uh, well, I would say. So you can just hold this and let's say, it says this app does not support split screen. So again, uh, as Android Nougat is pretty new. Uh, so again, not all apps might support it. For example, let's try. See, it didn't work because it says that app does not support the multi-window option. So as of now, yeah, the developers have to work. For example, uh, it's showing us some of the apps don't work with the multi-window. So you have to be a little bit uh, wary about that. Just hold this for a second, get to the multitasking. Uh, this was working. So if you click on this, uh, it's giving a warning, but it's working. So as you can see, again, I am sure developers will uh, patch their existing popular apps and make it compatible with this multi-window setup. So this is the biggest thing I would say, multi-window setup. Again, on smartphones, uh, I don't think so. It's a very useful feature. Yes, if you have a large screen size phone like this, it might be useful. But if you are running an Android-based tablet, then this multi-window setup can be really useful. Uh, Google has also added a lot of emojis. So if you uh, use a lot of emojis and stuff, so you can uh, use that 
so this is the full screen mode let's just go to let's say new twitter and google has uh, added a lot of emojis uh, so if you like a lot of emojis google had said that now they have added over 1500 new emojis so that's also a new thing i don't use a lot of emojis but if you use it uh, google said that they have added 1500 new emojis that you can uh, actually use so that is one more thing regarding the keyboard and regarding the notifications as i've already told you uh, if you get some notifications uh, for messaging apps and stuff you can directly interact directly from here this is a non-swipeable but again you can go to the settings and here you can see to show the notification you can block that notification or whatever directly from here so again lots of tweaks that you are finding and you can also go here and edit your quick toggles for example let's say uh, you want this data saver option you can uh, drag it over here and uh, add to the tiles uh, moving to data saver option this is a new thing that uh, google has added uh, google says that uh, you can now restrict uh, data uh, with the new data saving option and uh, particularly if you are running on a mobile data plan which does not have a lot of data uh, this new data saver option if you enable it uh, it will restrict the background data so again if you have limited uh, data plans it can be uh, useful uh, again uh, android uh, nougat uh, uh, will be rolling out for obviously nexus devices like the nexus 6p nexus 5x nexus 6 and even the nexus tablet and uh, as per uh, what rumors that we are hearing lg v20 will be the first android device to come out uh, with the android nougat uh, the new nexus devices are also supposed to come out very soon but google hasn't announced any uh, time frame most probably it should uh, launch very soon now as the android nugget is out so again guys uh, that's it for now for this very quick look and installation of android nugget on the nexus 6p again google has also said that the battery life is sort of improved on this new android and because the dose feature has really improved but i have to really test that so if you guys want that uh, i should make another video regarding this android n update after using it on this nexus 6p for two three days do let me know in the youtube comment section i can do that so guys that's that's it for now by the way i have also added a new channel in hindi again i'll have the link for that uh, hindi channel in the youtube show notes so uh, if you like videos in hindi you can also subscribe to that channel so guys that's it for now thank you for watching this video this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video